So um, I'm doing this session because Brian asked me to. He's been out and he wasn't able to uh, join us today. And he was going to talk about 2012. I'm going to do a little bit more of 2014 features. I see from the poll that a lot of people are running 2012, and that's great. Um, all those people that are running 2005, if you'll please take careful note of my contact information and call me because we can definitely help you get off of that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go over some uh, cool features in 2014. We're going to look at some of the high-level enhancements, um, uh, run through some of the you know really cool stuff that they've included in 2014, and then we're going to deep dive into a little bit more of things like the security enhancements, the new resource governor stuff. That's really really awesome about um, the the I/O stuff that they've included with resource governor. We're going to look at some of the cloud stuff, and um, it's becoming a more and more integrated with SQL Server. So it's not a um, whole separate thing that you have to run anymore. It's being integrated with SQL Server, which is why we talk about hybrid cloud now. Um, I know a lot of people are still very apprehensive about the cloud, and I do think that it's something that's going to be more common in the, the few years' time, but it is still a little bit foreign to a lot of people. So um, We'll talk about it a little bit in this session. I'm actually doing a session at SQL Pass where I'm going to be going over uh, the in introduction to how to set up things in, in the cloud and in Azure and all that. So I'm not going to talk too much about that now. But if you join us at the summit, come and join me at my session and we can uh, go over all that stuff for you. We're going to look at some of the high availability stuff in 2014 and the new um, delayed durability feature that's been introduced where you can actually make your transaction <laughs> very, very not durable, but very, very quick. We're going to look at the sysprep enhancements and the new clustered const or indexes that have been introduced in 2014, which is uh, built on the non-clustered const or indexes that came out in 2012. We're going to look at uh, a little bit about the new cardinality estimator, which everybody is all excited about, um, and of course the big stuff, the in-memory OLTP. And there's a couple of new BI features and stuff we'll go over as well. So this is a little bit about me. Um, I'm originally from South Africa. That's my two little ones. There's a picture of the baby. She's now two. That was taken this last weekend at the 4th of July and my son is now seven. I've been in IT for over 20 years since I left university in South Africa in 1993, I think it was, 92. Um, I became a systems administrator, administering everything from Windows to Novell Netware to Unix to um, Silicon Graphics machines, HP workstations, Sun Solaris, all of these things in South Africa. I worked for a third-party maintenance company that did support on all these um, various systems. I even worked on things like mainframes, the control data mainframes, and all sorts of things. And then I came over to America in 2001, and I worked on a few uh, projects doing Windows systems administration, and about eight or ten years ago, I started getting into SQL and became a DBA. I'm now at Pragmatic Works now for three years, and I'm a senior consultant here, um, working mostly with things like PDWs, the big um, parallel data warehouse, which is really awesome, getting a lot of um, exposure into the appliance kind of world, and working with that sort of stuff. We do a lot of performance tuning as well, and I also teach the performance tuning class and all sorts of things like that. I contributed three chapters to the Professional Administration book, um, a SQL 2012 Pro Admin book, and I'm very glad to say that I enjoy speaking at user groups, SQL Saturdays, webinars, and I'm going to be speaking at the summit in November. There's my contact details if you want to shoot me an email, and let's get into SQL 2014. So this is the marketing slide that Microsoft have brought out. Every if everybody can read that, then our session is complete. So, uh, no, I'm kidding. 
there's really, really cool stuff that they've introduced. This is a complete overview of all the uh, new features. Um, actually, I don't think it is complete. There's a few other stuff that they haven't written on yet, kind of the smaller things that they just didn't find space to write onto the slide. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over some of these things a little bit more in detail. Um, and some of the high-level enhancements, like uh, some of the smaller stuff that's really going to be interesting is things like there's better statistics on a partition level in your table. So when you're doing uh, queries that take advantage of partition elimination, there's actually better statistics being kept about the data that within that partition, better metadata being kept about the partition so that the query optimizer can um, work with that data better and the storage engine can work a little bit better and bring less data in for you um, as, as needed. What's really cool, <coughs> excuse me, is a new the new parallel select into when you're working with partition tables. So um, currently in 2008 and 2012, if you do a select into, it'll just uh, do partition serially and bring the data in serially. But in 2014, you can actually get parallel select into writes to different partitions, which is really, really cool. Um, you can actually build buffer pool extensions and have those saved out to SSDs as if it was uh, RAM, like main memory. So what SQL will do is actually write, write out to the SSD much quicker than what it used to write out to um, hard drives when working with the buffer pool so that your, your buffer pool actually is a little bit more optimized. This is uh, introduced a little bit to help with some of the in-memory OLTP stuff. There are really cool backup enhancements. You can actually now backup to a URL. Basically, if you have um, Windows Azure set up and you have storage blobs set up in your Windows Azure, you can backup directly to that Windows Azure. And that's not just a uh, plain backup, that is actually a nicely managed backup so you can do restores to various machines that are connected to that um, Windows Azure just by using the URL. And there's also enhanced backup encryption to Windows Azure as well. <coughs> 